before we get started with today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hey, what is up everybody? Sierra here, back for another great video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Heartbreaker build and what it can do for you during the remaining weeks of Season 10. So, if you guys haven't gotten your manhunt stuff done and all that, well, hurry up and get it done because the season is almost over with. So, let's go ahead and get started with this build. Um, so, I'm running a four-piece heartbreaker with Petrov and Fenris. And yes, I could have gone a little bit better than that. But I didn't have very many, uh, you know, stuff to work with. So, I had to go with what I got. But, um, so... Right now, I'm running Gunner with this build because Gunner um, actually adds a little bit more damage towards your builds. And it's really common with DPS builds because um, it's just a great way to, you know, make it a lot good, you know, for your builds and all that. So, um, first thing we're going to talk about is some weapons. So, the first weapon I'm running is called the Keenbreaker. It's a named AR that you can get in the game. It was released in season 9. So yeah, last season they brought out this gun along with other weapons and uh, even a brand new exotic which is uh, coming up next in a second. But uh, anyway, the Kingbreaker um, has a talent on it called Perfect Flightline. So when you use um, Pulse Skill, it adds an additional 20% weapon damage. Um, so, I'm currently running a C79 scope with crit hit chance. Um, adds a little bit of crit hit chance to my stats. So, my stats isn't maximized to 60. Um, I'll talk about that in a moment. But, um, I'm running a short grip um, with crit hit damage. I'm also running uh, a muzzle with crit hit chance. And, of course, a extended mag, which... 20 rounds so normally this gun runs um, uh, 30 bullets without the magazine so the 20 really makes it 50 um, in a magazine so yeah it's really worth it in my opinion this gun is just awesome for this build um, next one I'm gonna talk about is the blue screen and this is the web another weapon that was released last season um, in season nine. So this slot machine gun is a really good one because it also has a talent called um, uh, disruptor rounds. And what this gun normally does is it adds like a, a mark over an enemy. So it adds like a status effect on uh, on enemies and stuff like that. So uh, when you use your pulse. Um, and you disrupt your uh, mark target and stuff it does like um, an effect on them and it gives you an advantage to really uh, put out the uh, kill against them you know and uh, depending on like how many stacks that this happens you know um, so yeah you don't so when you're uh, when you deploy a non shield skill against them um you know it really adds like a mark over their head and one of the biggest things about the blue screen is not only um not only that but it also reminds me of the new exotic for the season called the doctor home because every time you shoot an enemy it adds a mark over their head and stuff like that and i think that's where um basically where this one picks off from you know but uh, the Doctor Home Exotic, if you guys want me to do a review of it, uh, let me know in the comments because I'm thinking about making a video on that because um, I do have a few things to say about it. And it's a brand new weapon that you can get through this manhunt currently um, from General Anderson. But um, yeah, I, I think I ought to make a video about that anyway. So. Um, I don't know when I can upload it on that, but uh, I got other videos uh, planned, but uh, yeah, um, we'll just see about that. 
So let's go ahead and move on to the gear pieces and stuff like that and then we'll do skills and the stats in a few minutes. So the first piece on my um, on my build is a mask. So as you can tell the heartbreaker is 15% AR and LMG damage with two pieces, three pieces, 15% weapon handle and four pieces. Um, adds the brand new talent called Heartstopper. So um, Headshots does apply a, a pulse um, to the enemy for 5 seconds, but if your weapon hits on pulse enemies and stuff like that, it adds a stack of 1% uh, bonus uh, armor and damage and all that to pulsed enemies, and it could stack 50 times, so it's a pretty good mask right there. Uh, the backpack has a talent on it. Um, call cold and it increases the bonus armor gained um, from the talent heartstopper so um, it goes from 1% to 2% so heartstopper is basically um, where you get um, you know your uh, armor back every time you like kill an enemy and you like get the mark on them and stuff like that so that's what basically what this uh, build is all about is basically using your pulse and getting your armor back so you just got to make it work for yourself and all that um this is right here is the uh the next piece um the holster and i put create a chance on it and then last but not least is the knee pads which i put create a damage on it um okay so the next piece i'm going to talk about is the petrov chest piece so this right here has 10 percent lmg damage it also runs uh headshot damage crit hit damage and i put a crit hit chance mod on it but the talent on it has to do with um you know with all the talents that i mentioned from the weapons and even heart stopper talents i mean tag team does that i mean it's basically kind of like Heartstopper, in other words. And then the Fenris, as you all know about, uh, has a assault rifle damage. Um, originally, it was running headshot damage on the attribute, but I changed it to crit hit damage, and it's running maximized crit hit chance. All right, the skills that I'm running is a uh, scanner pulse, which um, I'm running a 15% radius which increases the amount um, you know I can like activate it and it goes farther away than normal and I'm even running the effect duration which um, will keep them keep the enemy scanned a little bit longer than normal so um, the weapon damage you know can last a little bit more you know a few more seconds and stuff um, high reviver is my next skill um, I'm running Reviver Armor Repair, 9.8% health and stem charges. Um, I really do suggest running this one because, uh, you know, you may get into a situation, you go down or you could get killed, so run this with it and it will help you guys out a little bit. Um, last but not least is the stats, so, um, yeah, I don't have my crit hit chance maximized for this one. Um, as long as you get it over 55, then you're good. And, um, I also have my crit hit damage to 109.4%. So, really, truthfully, you really don't need all of your stats maximized all the way up. Um, this build, basically, when you're activating pulse, it adds that weapon damage anyway. And it will do some good for you guys in the battlefield as well. So... Anyway, guys, that's my build for uh, this time, and I hope you guys enjoyed every minute of it. If you guys um, have any questions about this build, let me know in the comments. Um, but anyway, you guys, I hope you guys have, have a great uh, rest of your day, uh, morning, whatever it is. And I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for tuning in, you guys. Have a great day. Peace out.